Well, we have arrived at the camping and caravanning and motorhome show at the NEC February 2023. So we're starting off in the Wingham section. Uh, these, I love these motorhomes actually because they are made out of one piece of fiberglass. So always waterproof. And I think the guarantees for life of being waterproof. <laughs> small section at the front here I probably picked the uh, the wrong model to take a look at because due to its size uh, but look at all that room back there and you've got a wet room by the looks of things that is quite large for a wet room shower everything uh, you've got this elevating bed here so you can put something down here like a bike they're fairly small motorhomes but they do have a lot of space inside uh, let's take another look, a gander at another one. This is the Brownie. I think this is the uh, most popular one, I think. And this one is actually 113,000. Everything about these motorhomes, oh, oh, look at the size of this, and lovely in here. Everything about these motorhomes is unique and innovative. Oh, I'm just walking underneath the bed, I do believe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, that's the bed up there. Brilliant. Not too bad a space for the kitchen area. Two-ob stove. A wet room, much larger than the other one, the city. And if I'm right, there's the bed, another bed. You can, this can be converted into storage for your bikes or, or, or two bunk beds. Or, I like here as well, this is the, the button to open the back up. You just press that and it unla unlatches the, uh, the door uh, and I do like that. But most of all, I, I love the fact that it's all one piece. It's all one piece, no seams anywhere. So we're now at Wild Axe and uh, I want to take a look at the Altair because it, it's not 100% all electric uh, but uh, you have a, a man engine in the front and the chassis of course but inside is fully electric, has no gas but there is a diesel heater so let's take a look. Go. Straight away I noticed the leather. That is quite cool and sexy, don't you think? This looks a bit cramped, but I'm sure you can just swivel that chair around. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting so much room, to be honest. Look how big the, the kitchen area is. So you've got two induction hobs. And then through here, you've got the seating area, rear lounge. Zoe and I do love a rear lounge. In fact, that's what we're after, if we ever replace Herman and I am looking around and this looks like this gets made into a bed as well yeah oh the smell of leather even the even the little pouch here look at this is leather uh, wet room with a slidey door thing it's quite uh, narrow but functional let's take a look in here yeah a wardrobe with what looks like the table leg okay little cubbies little cupboards plenty of windows around the outside around the outside around the outside what's that a USB point yeah there you go more storage, again in the form of a leather pouch, and a tiny little microwave. In fact, that's something what we're after, a small microwave. And then what's here? What's this? Oh, just more storage. And the fr fr Wow. Well, you know what? I would say that's bigger than the one we have at home. Oh, he actually opens both ways by the looks of things. Let me just check that out. 
It does! It couldn't get cooler than that. I say plenty of storage underneath the kitchen area. What's this here? This looks interesting. No, that's not opening. Okay, so there's a sink. But right underneath it is a drawer with plenty of height. Look at that. There's well, another one of those. Let's see what's in here. It's got to be the table. Yeah, the table. I like it. Very nice. Very cosy. Very leathery smelling as well. Next, we're going to go and take a look at the Cathargo here. So big, I can't get it all on the screen and the camera. Look at that. It's huge. Okay, look at that. That is full leather. Nice and open. I'm standing up straight. Yes, yeah, so loads of room. And I must be probably two, three foot off the ground right now. So buckets of room in here. Lovely touch with the old gauges there. In case, uh, in case you need to know what the weather's going to be like, I suppose. I mean, you can just have a look outside, can't you, really? Being in a motorhome. It says 212,000, this one. It's got it's fully kitted out, this has. It's got everything on it. I love the curve of the kitchen. Oven. Three hobs. And this is what I like. Going in here, this is now the bathroom. Proper full sink. Look at the size of that. It's plasticky. Some sort of plastic. Huge shower. I mean, you know, this Cathargo is so large, it, it crosses us, crosses international date line. Now, what's in it? The toilet, of course, I guess that's going to somehow shut that off. There's the toilet. And then this is a wardrobe. Huge bedroom, bed. Now, the only thing I would say is getting it in and out, it would be a bit of a shuffle, I think. You'd have to shuffle from the uh, where you're laying to the edge. I've just noticed this thing, like a pull-out room divider and television wall. Okay, so I don't know how that works, but it looks interesting. Some storage either side, kind of your own little wardrobe, and some storage for phones and stuff in the corners there. Can't tell if there's any charging points. That would be very useful. I'll just turn the light off with my bag. Very nice. Oh. Bags of room. I was hoping for a bit of a... Oh my goodness. <laughs> wonder if they come with it. Uh, soft touch, no, maybe? That would have been nice. Soft close, not soft touch. The garage, huge garage. You could put Herman in that. You could put our motorhome in there. It's got its own bathroom. But yeah, that's uh, obviously below the bed. Wow, look at storage underneath. This is why we're so high up off the uh, ground. Goes all the way through. Everywhere, in fact. Look at that, it goes all the way back there. You might lose something at the back there, though, wouldn't you? You can see people's feet. Very impressive and expensive motorhome. Okay, so this wall behind me is actually a Morello Empire Liner 93 LB. Not quite half a million quid. It's huge. I'll show you how big it is. I'll go back and we'll see how big this thing is. Look at that. Massive. So not quite a million quid. If you get two, you'll have a million quid. A million quid worth of motorhome if you get two. Amazing. You won't be able to drive this on your C1 license. This is 15 tons. Even the lettering here, the lettering, the name of it is larger than our motorhome. I think that's a bit pompous, don't you think? 
but also cool at the same time. It is in fact a coach, isn't it? Look at the size of that. In fact, there's little buttons on the side there which would open these up because you've got loads of storage underneath. This button here, boom, boom, and it just, I'll imagine. It'd be great to go and have a look inside though, wouldn't it? The handle's just here, but the door, it goes all the way up there. And there's no, there's no key fob. Uh, there's a keypad here, which uh, you type your code in and um, yeah, you get in, get access to it. All the mod cons on this big boy. Up there is a reversing camera. <laughs> or a drift camera on the side. There's a downside to it, lads. What's the downside to it? Well, the garage looks big. Yeah. But by the time you put the steps in it, <laughs> it's, it's almost full. Yeah, there's a step. Now, you may be aware that there's been a shortage of microchips and that kind of thing due to the pandemic. Uh, Fiat Ducato, which is uh, probably the biggest uh, provider of chassis for a motorhome, uh, basically yeah, there's a bit of a too much demand and they can't supply. So a lot of the manufacturers are actually starting to use other, other, other makes of chassis, including Ford and VW. This is a VW, I think, T6, 61. Uh, so tiny little thing and it's built by uh, Weinsberg and also now says what the, their own version as well. Let's take a look. So it looks like a motorhome but it's built on a small van chassis. So let's take a look what's in what it's like inside. So first things of all, that's, uh, what's in here? It looks like a wardrobe. It's actually an entrance to the rear locker. That's not a bad idea, is it? And then we have a kitchen area. Oh, fridge on the end. Opens both ways. They're getting quite common, aren't they? Opening both ways. Uh, two hobs. And the sink just there. Wet room. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. This swings out. I don't know how it swings out. And I don't want to break it. So, yeah, we'll ignore that. But what's this? Love the storage ideas. Now then, drop down bed. Fantastic. How you get up there, there must be a ladder somewhere. Uh, but that's the what you get underneath. You get a full size lounge. It's not bad, is it? For the size motorhome, that's not bad at all. Could definitely get probably six round there. Yeah, very interesting. It's like a TARDIS almost. Let's have a look at the Naus version. First of all, there's the lounge area. Uh, part leather, part material. Very nice, expendable as well. Bed is above me here, just above the cab. And... Oh, there's another bed as well. well. That's interesting. I didn't, hadn't realised. Another bed at the back. You know, it's so many things. Look, there's some hinges here, some fastenings and stuff down here. Look, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that does. But it looks interesting. I guess this is a locker into the back. Oh, not quite. Some extra shelving in there. Uh, this is the step, I imagine. Step to get up into the bed. Same uh, look layout for the kitchen. There. Oh, there's a step. Now that would drive me nuts. <laughs> okay, so this is the bathroom. Very weird. And I think they're going for the ultimate in space saving. Take a look at this. Right, so there's your ladder for getting into the bed. Looks like a wet room. There's the toilet and the sink. 
imagine this must fold away somehow oh there you go probably pull that lever lever there and it swings out but this this must fold away because you've got the shower just there look right so that's the shower just there and then that was what i was looking at around here so this must i'd like to see a demonstration i wonder if someone will show me because i mean once you stop using the bed this is a great idea because you put that away you're not going to use that are you really for the rest of the day and then straight out of there straight into the shower brilliant excuse me i don't suppose you could show me how the shower pulls out uh, can you oh my goodness oh, i see that is in that is amazing so that only took you two seconds yeah. three tops wow thank you very much that is that is brilliant loads of storage in the back for a couple of bikes this is the perfect size for Herman, don't you think? I, th I think that's excellent. Yeah. It's, it's not one man, it's half a man, baby size, dog size, there you go. Yeah, it could do with a few more accessories though, I Yeah, think. a few more accessories. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.